These are the pulses of a police laser gun, a LIDAR gun, a light instrument for distance and ranging. And as some of you guys will know, these pulses are reflected back off your number plate and the variations in pulses caused by your velocity, your speed, obviously these tend to get closer together. And the very precise microprocessor, the master timer, as they call it, on the, on the police speed gun, measures your speed very precisely indeed up to a one mile per hour uh, error obviously all laser jammers they imitate this signal by a variety of means they usually have an oscillator chip a tiny little oscillator or multi vibrator chip a one shot multi vibrator is the correct name for it in other words you trigger it and it keeps making a facsimile signal for a few seconds on the timer I just thought I'd put this on to educate everyone and demystify this laser jamming LIDAR subject. Of course, this is a fairly old LIDAR gun, fairly old police LIDAR gun. Um, nowadays, they can go up to 4,000 hertz, 4,000 of these little pulses per second. But the principles don't, haven't changed since 1992 when they were invented, when the British invented them and uh, some rich US dude actually financed them and developed it into something really worthwhile. So if you were to put a laser jammer on here you would see a virtually identical set of signals the only difference being that the, the actual spacing between these would be quite different. I won't go into it exactly but it would attempt to put the pulse in a very important different place. So I thought that might be useful to you guys and you know, a bit interesting, just to show you how you lose your $500 and your £150 speeding fines and how they end up taking people's licenses off them, which is what we don't want, of course. Okay, see you guys. Bye-bye.